Coming up on this episode of the new Fly Fisher, we are all about adventure. We're going deep into the bush of Algoma country. We are on the hunt for giant native wild Ontario brook trout. The adventure starts right now on the new Fly Fisher. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to GoFishingOntario.com Algoma Country Orvis Sporting Traditions Miminisca Lodge is located in the Albany River system, with its headwaters beginning at Lake St. Joseph. The Albany flows east to Canada's James Bay, an Arctic watershed flowage famous for its giant northern pike and plentiful walleye. Miminisca Lodge is fast becoming a destination for another sought-after species, wild Ontario native brook trout, also known as the Jewels of the North. Brook trout are fantastic adversaries on fly, they're often an all or not kind of fish, meaning they can be very easy to catch or you can't write a check big enough to even buy a bite. When they're on, they give anglers an opportunity to lock horns with big, boorish brookies. Many anglers are used to cookie cutter brook trout, fishing smaller streams for smaller fish, which is great. However, the fish in the Albany system are very different. Though Miminisca Lodge is approaching its 75th year of operation, the brook trout fishery is still in its infancy. With conservation first and foremost, fly anglers target Miminisca brook trout with single, barbless flies, and all brookies are strictly catch and release. Other than shots of brook trout from the tributaries of the main lake, Miminisca offers special fly out adventures. They're tri tiered to match the level of adventure you're looking for, consisting of day long float experiences overnight adventures, or the most extreme, a multi-day float down the main Albany River itself. Fishing upper, middle, lower, and snake falls, this is truly where brook trout go, basically untouched all year long. Guiding me on this adventure is local Ojibwe guide Keith Missaways. Keith has been fishing the Albany River system all his life and has recently taken to catching fish on fly. Welcome to what we call the Freestone River, aptly named because of the various amounts of stoneflies and tons of bugs that inhabit this place. We're going to do something unique today. We're going to fish giant world-class brook trout on top water using golden stoneflies and grasshoppers. This should be unbelievable. Fish. Nice. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually skating these stoneflies across the surface of the water and it's driving these brook trout absolutely wild. I just lost an absolute giant. Uh, this one isn't as big, but you know what? He'll play. You know what? This might, this fish might actually be bigger than I thought it was. Oh yeah, nice fish. Keith, it's a good one. Oh yeah, good fish. Great brook trout. Get him. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Look at this. What? It's a it's a male too. 
fly just pops out. You can hold the net for me. And I'm gonna show this fish off. Oh, what an animal. Look at the teeth. Thanks, buddy. Away he goes. <laughs> what a fish. Can you imagine? Thanks, man. Skating golden stoneflies. Five, five and a half pound brook trout. This is truly world class. Did you see that? <laughs> so what I'm doing is I've got these stone flies that are surface flies, and I'm laying them out about 45 degrees across the river, and I'm wiggling to my rod tip so that it has a, a scared skating motion on the surface. And these brook trout are coming out of the sides of these rivers, these river banks, and just haven't, having at it. They do not like it at all. It's another good one, Keith. So it's important to keep lots of action on that, on that stone fly so that it looks like it's actually fleeing the, the area where these brookies are living. Great. Thank you, sir. So that's a fly I'm using. It's a, uh, it's a golden stone fly. It's got legs made out of foam and a, uh, a brown hackle around the hook, and it keeps afloat just by a couple of strips of dark brown foam, and it's uh, it's putting a clinic on them today. Let's take a look at this brook trout. Hey, Keith, you want to come and grab the net for me? Thank you. Now, we're in the middle of July right now, and uh, the water on the freestone has stayed really nice and cool due to the cold weather up here, and that has allowed these fish to stay super active. And that is a great female brook trout. You wonder why they call them square tails? Look at that. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> She's full of, you know, that's a good sign of how cold the water is, is, you know, after a, a battle on fly, they're still ready to take off and do it all over again. The Freestone River is fishing very well today and the brook trout are lighting it up on top. If they're this active, they'd go crazy for a streamer. So we've seen a lot of what's going on on the surface here at pool number one on the Freestone. Um, let's give it a try and see what's going on underneath the surface, subsurface with uh, a streamer. I've got a cone-headed muddler leech combination in olive color and uh, you know, just like swinging any stream for steelhead or Atlantic salmon, you start close to yourself and slowly work out a couple inches at a time, swinging that fly right across the pool. You know, though there are fish active on top, aggressively chasing these stone flies, makes you wonder if there's gonna be fish that are active subsurface as well. Got him. That's a great reason to have two rods set up so you can quickly switch between a uh, top water and a subsurface. Wasn't two swings through and the streamer got crushed. It's another good one, huh? Oh yeah, it's a great fish. Off that rock. There he goes. Now it seems like all these brook trout are hanging in the shadows on the left hand side because when I fished the right hand, I didn't even move a fish, not one. But 
I've lost count on how many we've caught on this side now. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> he barely fits. That's bigger, that's the biggest one yet. Oh my goodness, another male. Great fish. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. So on rivers like this, that are as high quality as the Freestone, we're gonna make a decision to move down river now. We've hit three or four fish out of here, some that are really big, five, five and a half pounds. Um, that's enough. Let's move on down to the next pool and see what we can find. So we just pulled up to the second pool of the day and the fish's behavior has changed. It's just afternoon and instead of slamming the stonefly, this brook trout just gently sipped it down, almost unnoticeably. All of a sudden the line jerked, the line came tight and it was on. Feels like a good fish too. But again, on the wiggle, just came in and grabbed it. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Get my net. Keith, our guide, is just walking the boats down the set of rapids. Reel down a little bit. Important not to reel your line, your leader into your rod tip, and just walk this fish right in. Look at that. What a great fish. We're gonna release this guy. Great first fish out of the second pool. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Just incredible. Absolutely amazing. This river is remarkable. Freestone. Check it out. Brook trout are in their spawning colors, but it's middle of July. They're just radiant. True jewels. Ooh, that's a thick fish. Huh. Three pounds. Great, fi great fish. See you, buddy. And the average seems to be about that here, three, four pounds. Um, I've heard them caught up to eight and the odd one in the double digits. So we keep at it, we might just get one. Oh, there it is. Oh, what a giant, giant brook trout. Just exploded on this. Oh my goodness. What aggression. I switched flies from a small grasshopper to a giant stone fly, golden stone, and this thing just erupted on it. Made a hole in the river. I gotta get this guy into slack water. This is a giant fish. Always in the net. This is the biggest fish. This may be my biggest brook trout ever. And with fish this incredible, you want to make sure that you handle them absolutely properly. Look at that. The fly just simply popped out. Look at that. This is what you come to Mimaniska Lodge for. True trophy wild Ontario brook trout.
What a perfect way to end the day here at Mimaniska Lodge. Skating, dry flies, stone flies, and grasshoppers for wild Ontario brook trout. The adventure continues next on the new Fly Fisher. Awesome day today. Good job on the net. Mimaniska Lodge is well equipped for both main lake fishing and exploring their tributaries. And the lodge is fantastic with running water, 24-hour electricity, and all the amenities one would need at a fly-in fishing lodge. The next day, we load up the float plane and head out for another adventure. And things pick up right where they left off. Well, here we are, day two here at Mimaniska Lodge in northwestern Ontario, fishing wild Ontario brook trout. This river, some of the locals call the Cohen. We were on the Freestone yesterday and had an amazing day. This river is a little bit different in that the water is very tannic. It's red in color. The fish from the Freestone almost look like they were in their spawning colors. Remember, this is just the middle of July. I wonder if the fish from the Cohen look the same. We're doing the same technique as yesterday, skating dry flies for these big brookies. Now, I have to be really careful here with this fish because we've been fishing this pool for about 10 minutes and I had a golden stonefly on that was too big. So I switched down to a smaller fly and um, first drift, hooked this really nice little brook trout. But the cool thing is, is that there's brook trout all throughout this run. We probably know about seven fish that are actively feeding. So the trick is to keep them out of the other fish's zone so that you don't spook them off. All right, Keith, let's grab that fish. Good job, man. Now, first fish at this river, let's see if the colors are similar to that of the freestone. Oh, they are. Look at that, how amazing yeah, is that, huh? It's nice. Wanna pop the fly out? Nice. And I can hear them feeding again, so we have not disturbed the pool. That is a Cohen River wild Ontario brook trout. See you, buddy. There it is. Very interesting. So we drifted this stone fly through this run and had this fish come up on it twice and missed it. So we fished the rest of the run, let it, basically let him rest for about five minutes and then put it back through one time and boom, he came up and hammered it. Now I even thought that I might've even pricked that fish the second time he, he went after this fly, but he didn't. Clearly I didn't. Got him. So even though you raise a fish a couple times and he doesn't come back the third, let him rest a bit. And chances are, you'll see some great success. This is, oh, this is a good fish. This one's huge. Might be the big fish of the day. Oh, I guarantee you it's the big fish of the day. It came from right underneath that log. I placed the fly right there. Oh, Keith, are you kidding? And the crazy thing was that this fish took a swipe at the fly first and either refused it and a different fish came in or it said, eh, you know what? I'm hungry enough. <laughs> oh, that is a big fish. <laughs> I think this is the biggest fish of the trip, don't you? Yeah. 
taking a look at that. <laughs> what a stud brook trout. That is unbelievable. So long, sweetheart. So let's talk about the setup that we used up here fishing giant wild native Ontario brook trout at Mimaniska Lodge. Let's begin with the rod. Uh, rods we used were nine to nine and a half foot, five weight um, rods, great for tight applications in tight rivers. Um, the reel, funnily enough, is one that, um, you know, I would say that a reel for brook trout generally just holds your line. It's a vessel to hold your line. But the trout here are so big, they actually need a good drag system. We had a fish or two that almost took me into the backing. Uh, line is a five weight, weight forward floating line. And the uh, leader and tippet material generally went from 10 to eight pound leader down to a six pound fluorocarbon tippet. The flies, of course, we had an absolute blast fishing um, golden stone flies, both floating and subsurface, and these brook trout were just having a day with it. So this is the gear you need up here at Mimaniska Lodge to target these giant native brook trout. Well, that about does it for this episode of The New Fly Fisher. Thanks for watching. Special thanks goes to everyone at Mimaniska Lodge. What an unbelievable week. Remember, adventure is out there. All you need to do is go and find it. And what better way than to do it with a fly rod in your hand? For everyone here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for watching. For more on our series, check us out at www.thenewflyfisher.com. I'm Mark Melnick, and here's hoping we see you in the backcountry. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to GoFishingOntario.com Algoma Country Orvis Sporting Traditions <laughs>